Oh no! These Marvel superheroes have gotten their colors all mixed up. Hulk is blue, Captain America is red, and Spider-Man is green. That's not right. We've got to fix them. Don't worry though, we've got Loki's magic color changing staff and we can use it to get all these superheroes back to their right colors. Are you ready to help me change them back? Let's do it. First, we need to take away all their colors so that we can put the right one back on the right hero. All right, I'm gonna take away their colors. Let's start with the Hulk. All right, I've got Hulk's color now. Now, let's get the color off of Spider-Man. Okay. Now we just have to get the color off of Captain America, and then we can start putting the right ones back on them. Alright, now that we've gotten the wrong colors off of all these heroes, we can start putting the right colors back on. Let's start with the Hulk. What color is the Hulk supposed to be? Is the Hulk supposed to be green? Yes, the Hulk's supposed to be green. So we're going to use Loki's magic color changing staff to turn the Hulk back to green. Here's how this is going to work. I'm going to say green three times with your help, and then when we tap him with the staff, he'll be green again. Ready? Say it with me. Green. 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 All right. We got the Hulk back to green. Just two superheroes to go. You sure are good at this. Let's change Spider-Man back now. What color should Spider-Man be? Should Spider-Man be red? All right, I need your help changing Spider-Man back to red. Say it with me three times, and then when I hit him with the staff, he'll be red again. Ready? Here we go. Red, red, red. All right, Spider-Man's back to red. Good job. Now we just have one more superhero to put back to the right color. What color should Captain America be? I think he's supposed to be pink. All right, I'm going to turn him pink. Here we go. Wait a minute, that's not right. Captain America is not supposed to be pink. He's supposed to be red, white, and blue. That's right. Silly me, I get mixed up all the time. All right, let's turn him back to blue. Let's say blue three times together, and then when I hit him with the staff, he'll be blue again. Ready? Here we go. Blue. Blue! Blue! All right, we did it! We finally got all these Marvel superheroes back to their right color. <laughs> I'm Crusher, and I'm gonna figure out how I'm gonna cheat Blaze today. Whoa! Hey, Crusher! What the? Pickle? Why are you blue? Blue? I'm not blue. I'm Pickle! No, 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 you silly... Doofus, look at your color. You're blue instead of green. I'm what? What? You're right. I am blue. Crusher, what's going on? How did I turn blue? I don't know, but as much as I hate to say it, I think we're going to have to go to Blaze and the rest of the monster machines for our help. Did someone say Blaze? And stripes, rawr, rawr. Oh, thank goodness you guys are here. You see, I've got this problem where I'm blue. Whoa, Pickle, you are blue. How did that happen? I don't know. Hmm, let me take a closer look. Hmm. What? Now you're red. What? This is crazy. Whoa. Well, actually, I kind of like being red. Hmm? Red? Something not right. Let Stripes take a look. Stripes! Now you're yellow like stripes! Whoa, yellow? Does this mean I can go even faster? Uh, I don't think you go any faster based on your color, Pickle. But 
This sure is a pickle. Why does he keep on changing colors whenever one of us touches him? Hmm. I feel like I've heard about something like this before. Well, I may not know how to fix it, but I know just who to call who can help. Who's that, Blaze? The Paw Patrol. We need Chase from the Paw Patrol. Arf, arf, Chase is on the case. What seems to be the trouble, guys? It's our friend Pickle. He's supposed to be green, but as you can see, every time someone touches him, rarp, he changes color. Whoa, let me check to make sure. Oh, now he's blue because I touched him. Hmm, I think I know what the problem is. Sky, Sky, come in here. This pup's got to fly. Sky, look at Pickle over there. Yeah? Well, he's supposed to be green, but right now he's blue. Why is that? Hmm. Oh, now he's pink like me. I think I know what this means, Chase. You betcha, Sky. What is it, guys? Your friend Pickle has the color cooties. The color cooties? Yep. Our friend Rocky had it one time. It causes you to turn into the color of anything you touch. That's crazy! I can't keep changing colors every time I touch something. Is there any way we can fix it, Chase? You betcha. We just have to have Pickle touch something that's green and he'll be back to his normal color. All right, thanks, Chase. We can always use the help of the Paw Patrol. No problem, guys. But how are we going to get him to touch something that's green? I'm only yellow. And I'm blue. Don't worry, guys. I know someone who's green. We need just the right monster machine. Oh, I think I know who you're talking about. Yep, that's right. Zeg, where are you, Zeg? Zeg! Zig, 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 zig. <laughs> Good to see you, buddy. But calm down for a second. We need you to help out Pickle. Zig, zig, like to help. Okay. Well, what we need you to do is to cure Pickle's color cooties by just touching him, and that'll turn him back to green. Oh, zig, always happy to help. Come here, little buddy. Okay. I sure hope this works. Mm -hmm. All right! I'm green again! Thanks, everybody! It's no problem. Helping a pup is just what we pups like to do. <laughs> but these aren't pups, Chase. These are trucks. Well, we'll help out anyone who needs it. Thanks, everybody. I'm really glad we got Pickle right back to his regular color. It's troll time! We've got some all new toys from the DreamWorks Trolls movie today. I can't wait to open these up. Trolls are super colorful and they have really fun hair that we can play with. Let's get started with this one first. This toy playset is called Poppy's Fashion Frenzy and it's got Poppy and three other trolls. Let's see what kind of fun we can have with these. First of all, we just gotta figure out how to get into the package. Doesn't look like it's too hard to open. That's nice. I like it when toys are easy to open. Now we just slide off the plastic. We make sure we put that in the recycling. Okay. Let's get out this crazy little troll first. I like this one. It reminds me of Cousin It from the Adams Family. You can only see its feet. It's just a bunch of hair. <laughs> That's a lot of fun. It's got this crazy green hair with a purple streak in it. Isn't that neat? Wow. All right, let's see what other kind of trolls we have. 
Oh, I guess these trolls are twins because their hair is tied together in a bow. Let's see if we can pop them out real quick. Oh, she fell off the, the bow. <laughs> Come on. They have big ears, which makes them hard to get out of the package. There we go. Okie dokie. Now we have these two. They're really pretty shades of blue and pink with light blue hair and teal hair with purple little tips. You can kind of froth them together. Woo! Hair fight. Flip, 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 flip. Flip, 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 flip. <laughs> oh, wow. That's some crazy looking hair. And we still have Poppy. Now, Poppy looks like she has a dress made out of hair. That's pretty silly. She has a nice little tiara and a bow comb, it looks like. Yeah, we've got this little comb so we can brush her hair. Brushy, brushy. Yeah, and she has this furry dress. <laughs> oh, man. That's too much. A furry dress. I guess we could braid it if we wanted to. But it's a really pretty nice uh, streaking of purple and, and blue and pink. And she has these glittery little cheeks that sparkle. That's super cute. We'll put her down over here. Oops. <laughs> she doesn't seem to want to stand up. So we'll just lay her down next to all of her friends. We've got the blue troll, we got the pink troll, and then we got my favorite, the wild green troll. <laughs> we've got a whole other troll pack to open up too. This one looks like a lot of fun. It says something about the hair bends and extends, and there's a troll in here with a braid. Oh boy, I can't see what, wait to see what we got here. Alrighty, we just gotta pull this end off here. Come on now. This one is called the Wild Hair Pack. Alright, more plastic for the recycling. Oh man, we have another one of those little trolls that you can only see its feet. Those are my favorite, I'm gonna pop that out first. This one has wild green hair too. But it's all tied up in a braid. Isn't that neat? Woo woo! I like how swooshy it is. See? Swoosh, swoosh, swoosh. <laughs> That's a ton of fun. Man, it's a good braid too. I kind of want to undo it, but I'm not very good at braiding, so I probably couldn't put it back very well. Let's see what else we have. We've got this crazy messy troll. She's got paint all over her face. I guess she likes to paint with this brush right here and stick it in her hand. Uh, doop, doop. Voila! Now she's ready to paint a new masterpiece. Man, I sure hope she doesn't get any paint in her hair. That <laughs> would be a real pain to deal with, wouldn't it? How fun. Love this fluffy troll hair. Oops, I knocked off her bow. That's okay. She can let her hair be free. She has nice purple and blue hair. Kind of like Poppy. All right. And, oh, we have this tiny little adorable troll. Look at her. She's the smallest troll yet. She's got a cute little purple dress and fun yellow skin with this long blue hair. This is crazy. Oh, wow, her hair, actually, we can bend it in different ways. Look at that. See, I can make it swish to the left. I can make it swish to the right. Oh man, this one's really fun. This one might be my new favorite. I like all the different ways that we can style our hair. Let's see. We can squish it. Kind of wrap it around my finger there. <laughs> what a wild hair day. Yeah, I think this one's definitely my new favorite. I love all the crazy shapes that we can make with her hair. <laughs> her hair's bigger than she is. All right. And I think we've got one more troll. 
Whoa, this one is super glittery. Oh man, he's so shiny that it's blinding me. I've never seen such a shiny and glittery troll before. He's just sparkling. Look at him. He's got sparkles all over him. He's got white hair with a pink streak in it. He's really fun. He just likes to shine and sparkle. Wow, that's really neat. So let's take a look at some of our trolls we got here. I don't think I can put them all in my hand. Uh, we have this fun sparkly one. We got this, oops, we got this green one with a braid. And uh, of course my favorite, the little one that we can bend its hair all around. And probably the star of the movie, Poppy. It's time to open up all new toys from Super Wings. We've got a playset full of Super Wing Transformer Bots here, including Jet, Paul, Grand Albert, and Mira. These toys look like a lot of fun. I can't wait to get inside and start playing. Let's see how easy they are to open, huh? That wasn't too hard. Now I just gotta take them out. Wow, check out these Super Wings. I really like how colorful they are. We got the white and blue policeman, we got the orange biplane, we have the green water jet, and we have the red jet. That's nice. Let's pop them on out. Now this, I think, is Paul. Let's get him out first. Oh, they're kind of tricky. They got these little ties in the back that make them difficult to get out. You'll probably need a grown-up to help you out. Let's see if we can do it. Nope, we're gonna have to use our grown-up scissors. Aw, oh, man. All right, here's Paul. Now, the thing that's really fun about these toys is they transform from a robot mode to a plane mode. Let's see if we can get our little arm out here. It's kind of tricky. Maybe that's not supposed to come out. Okay, so there's Paul in his regular robot mode but he can also turn into a plane. Fold his little arm down there. Woohoo! Do a barrel roll. That's pretty neat. I like toys that can transform like this. Let's open up some of these other ones. Let's get out Jet next. Maybe he'll be a little easier to get out than Paul was. And get these little rubber bands off of his arms. Ooh, they are kind of tricky though. All right, that's, he's halfway out. He's all the way out. All right, we got Jet, woohoo! Jet the super plane. All right. He's really cool looking, he's red. I wonder if that means he can go any faster than a regular plane. Cause you know, red things go faster. <laughs> uh, that's not true. That's silly. Do you want to see him transform from his robot mode into his jet plane mode? Let's do it. We have to fold his legs back like this and fold his little arms in so there's no wind resistance. And room, he's a super wing ready to fly. Wow, he is really fast. All right, let's check out some of our other super wings toys. Hmm, let's get out Grand Albert next. I like him a lot. He's a biplane. It's a really old style of plane, but it's really cool looking. Let's see, maybe we can just slide this little thing back here out. Maybe, does it want to work that way? It might not want to work that way. Come on out, Albert. No, it's not gonna come out, I don't think. Well, let's get out Mira next. She should be a little easier to pop out. We just have to slide these off here. Get her out. All right, there we go. Here's Mira. Mira is green and she's a water plane. She likes to splash down in the water. <laughs> That's pretty cool looking. All righty, let's see. Let's transform her from her robot mode to her plane mode. Oh, look at that. She's got these cool turbines on the back. I like that a lot. So that way she can hover around. She can go shoo, shoo, but she can also go 
That's pretty neat. All right, let's see if we can get our last toy out. Grand Albert is going to be the grandest challenge of all. Come on out, Grand Albert. Can we get you without breaking you? Let's see. I wonder why they make these toys so difficult to open. Nope, looks like we're going to have to use our grown-up scissors again. All right, we're finally ready to get Grand Albert out of the package. All right, this guy is really cool looking. I like him a lot. Let's see. He's got uh, he's got this propeller that we can spin around like this, and he's got a little mustache or a beard. I guess it'd be a beard if this is like his nose. No, oh, that'd be his mustache, wouldn't it? And he's orange, and orange is one of my favorite colors. Let's transform him into his biplane mode. <laughs> All right, let's take a look at all of our Super Wings toys together. We've got Grand Albert. We've got Mira. We've got Paul. And we have Jet. All right, here they all are. Here are three shapes. Can you help each Paw Patrol pup find the shape they want? Here they come. Oh, look, it's Marshall. He's looking for a shape that's round. Can you help Marshall find a round shape? Is it this shape? No, it's not that shape. Is it this shape? No, it's not that shape. Is it this shape? Yes, yeah, that shape. Here you go, Marshall. Here's the circle. The circle is round. Yay! Here comes another pup. Oh look, it's Everest. Everest is looking for a pointy shape that looks like her ears. Can you help her find the pointy shape that looks like her ears? Let's find out. Is it this shape? No, it's not that shape. Is it this shape? Yes, it's that shape. The triangle has three points, and it looks like Everest ears. <laughs> Yay, Everest! Enjoy your triangle. There's only one shape left. I hope we can find the pup that wants it. Oh look, it's Chase! Chase is looking for a shape with four sides. Can you help Chase find a shape with four sides? Is it this shape? Yes, it is! The square has four sides and it's just what Chase is looking for. Thanks everybody! Have fun with Paw Patrol! Well, it looks like I have a puppy coming in for a checkup today. I wonder who it could be. Hi, Doc. Oh, hi, Chase. I wasn't expecting you. Oh, well, it's good to see you, Doc. It's good to see you too, Chase. What seems to be the problem today? Well, it's my Paw Patrol pup backpack. Oh, see, it keeps on going off all on its own when I didn't even mean for it to. Oh no, that sounds pretty embarrassing, Chase. Yeah, it kind of is. And it takes me a long time to get it reset, too. And then, when I need to use it, it's not ready to go. <laughs> I'm really sorry to hear that, Chase. Let's see if we can get you fixed up. Okay, Doc, let me just try to close my backpack one more time, but I, I don't know, it keeps on popping back out. I don't know what to do. And it's really hard to close. In fact, it won't close at all now. Oh no, I'm sure we can figure out what the problem is. <laughs> Let me see this side. Whoop! Oh, you startled me. Sorry, Doc. 
<laughs> Let me see the other side. Okay. Yep, yep, yep. Now, try standing on your head. Okay. I, Doc, I don't understand what standing on my head is going to help out. <laughs> Sorry, Chase. I just asked you to do that to be silly. Oh, Doc, you're the silliest. You can stand back up now. So what do you think, Doc? What's the problem with my backpack? It won't stop opening. Well, I think the problem is a simple lack of supplies. We could fix this with just a little bit of tape. But unfortunately, I don't have any in my office right now. Do you know a pup that's really fast that can fly away and go pick up some tape for us? Oh, oh, yeah, Doc, I know, I know. Do you? What's her name? Oh, oh, I know the best pup for this job. She's really smart and cute and a great flyer. <laughs> well, who is she, Chase? It's Sky. <laughs> oh, sorry, Doc, I didn't mean to knock you over when I came in. Oh, it's no problem, Sky. Sky, oh, it's really good to see you. I heard my name and I was wondering how I could help out. Well, we need some tape in order to fix Chase's backpack, but I don't have any in the office. Do you think you could fly away and go pick up some real quick? That should be no problem. Let's take to the sky with Sky. This pup's gonna fly. Wee! Wee! Wow, Sky sure is a good flyer. Oh, she really is, Doc. She's the best. And she knows all kinds of tricks, too. Oh, there goes my backpack again. I sure hope Sky gets back quick with that tape I need to fix my backpack. Oh, I'm coming in for a landing. All right, Doc, I think I got just what you need. That's great, Sky. May I see the tape now? Here you go. All right, got the tape. Now all we have to do is apply it to your backpack like so, and voila, your backpack should be fixed. Hmm, well, it's not popping open on its own anymore. That's a good sign. Let me see if I can open it up when I want to. Hey, there we go. Thanks, Doc. I'm ready to be back on the case. It's no problem, Chase. I always love helping out my friends. Come on, Sky. Let's go help out Adventure Bay. Chase is on the case. And Sky is taking to the sky. All right. Today we have some brand new toys from Finding Dory by Disney and Pixar. I'm really excited to open up these toys and see what we have today. It looks like our first one is Dory herself. Dory is the star of Finding Dory and she was in the first movie, Finding Nemo. I bet she'll be a lot of fun to play with. I can't wait to see the movie and see what kind of adventures she gets up to. Dory is a pretty silly fish. She's actually an angel fish. But she's pretty forgetful. Yay! That was easy. Dory's out of the box. Just keep swimming, just keep swimming, just keep swimming, swimming, swimming. Now I think these toys are actually little squiggle fish. Which means that when we roll them, they squiggle. Look at that. She wiggles her tail and flaps her fin. That's really fun. All right. Do you want to see what other toys we got? Yes. Yes, I do. <laughs> All right. We'll put Dory right there. Next, we have Hank. Hank is an all new character from Finding Dory. He wasn't in Finding Nemo. Hank is a red octopus. I like octopuses. They're pretty cool. Do you know how many arms a octopus has? 
That's right, an octopus has eight arms. Well, they're less arms and more like tentacles. Hank is a little trickier to open up than Dory was. You might need a grown-up to help you. Alright, Hank is out. Whoa, look at him. He's got so many squidicles. And look, he's also a swiggle fish. So that means when we roll him, he moves his tentacles. Let's roll him back and forth. That's really fun. All right. So now we've got Hank and Dory. Let's see who else we have. This is Bailey. Bailey is another new character from the movie. She wasn't in Finding Nemo, but she'll be in Finding Dory. Bailey is called a beluga whale. Beluga whales are really fun. There's even some nursery rhymes about them. Have you heard the song Baby Beluga? That's about beluga whales just like Bailey. Now Bailey came out pretty easy and she's also a swiggle fish so when we roll her wheel she flaps her tail and bobs her head. Whee! That's pretty neat. Actually since Bailey's a new character from the movie I'm not sure if it's a boy or a girl. I guess we'll find out. All right, I think we have one more toy to open. Oh, look who it is. It's Nemo. Nemo was in the original movie, Finding Nemo. <laughs> Obviously, the whole movie was about him. And he'll be coming back for Finding Dory. I bet he's going to help Dory out on her adventures. Let's see if we can get him out. Come on out, Nemo. Nemo is a clownfish. But that doesn't mean he's funny, even though he is. All right, here's Nemo. He's a squiggle fish, too. So when we roll his little wheel, he flaps his flippers and fin. He even flaps his little fin. Isn't that fun? So here we are. These are our new toys from Finding Dory. Hello everybody! Hello, I'm Professor Hoochberg. And I'm Doc McStuffins. Today, we're gonna learn how to camp. We have a bunch of purple candy over here, and we're gonna help out our visitors who are coming to pick it up by helping them count. Oh look, here comes our first visitor now. Nope, 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 nope. Hi, Bobby. Well, hello, Doc. What are you here for today? Well, I sure would like some of that purple candy. Oh, okay. How much would you like? Oh, I'm not too hungry. Just one piece will do. Okay, let's get Bobby one piece of candy. One. There you go. That's one piece of candy for you, Bobby. No, oh, thank you, Doc. I'm ever so appreciative. Ho 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 ho. Don't 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 don't. Here comes our next visitor. <laughs> Hello, Lammy. How are you today? Oh, I'm doing good, Doc. How about you? I'm doing great. Would you like some of this purple candy? Yes, I would love some purple candy. How much would you like? Oh, could I have two pieces of candy? Of course you can. Let's count out two pieces of candy for Lammy. One. Two. There you go, Lammy. Two pieces of candy. Oh boy, thank you so much. <laughs> <laughs> oh, 
We only have one Fister left. I sure hope we have enough candy. <laughs> hey, Doc. Oh, hi, Stuffy. How are you today? I'm great. But you know what make it even better? What's that? Some purple candy, of course. <laughs> You're so silly, Stuffy. How much purple candy would you like? Um, well, this is a little embarrassing, but I never learned to count. <laughs> Don't worry, Stuffy. We'll give you all the candy we have left. Let's see how much that is. One. Two. Three. Three pieces of candy. There you go, Stuffy. You can have all three pieces of purple candy. Oh boy, Doc. Thank you so much. You're the best. You're welcome, Stuffy. Enjoy. I will. <laughs> well, we're all out of candy for today. Did you enjoy learning how to count with us? Oh, I hope you had a good time. We really appreciate your help. La vie, 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 la la vie, la Boo. 
Blue, 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 blue,